Hello, this is Dr. Drew Hall with Upper Cervical Health Care of Los Angeles and Carson. What I want to talk today about is digestive disorders. Now, digestive disorders is kind of a large umbrella that encompasses a lot of different problems that can go wrong in the GI tract from acid reflux to indigestion following eating or bloating, constipation, diarrhea, Crohn's, colitis. There's all sorts of different conditions under that broad category. Before I get into talking about how upper neck injury influences most of these conditions, I'd first just like to discuss what is digestion. Um, all of us know we eat food and it comes out the other end, but what happens before the mouth and the other end is kind of intriguing. So when you put food in your mouth and you start to chew, of course we masticate the food to break it down. And when we all know that we eat, we generate saliva. It's an autonomic response. Your body automatically generates saliva without you thinking about it. And inside that saliva are enzymes. So the digestive process actually starts place, takes place in your mouth first. And then of course, after we've chewed enough, we swallow. And there's something called peristalsis. And that is where when you swallow, the esophagus squeezes the food down and then it goes into the stomach. And then in the stomach, we all know we have acid and other um, enzymes and so forth that are in the stomach that break the food down further. And then it's ejected out of the stomach into the small intestine where it's um, absorbed into the bloodstream as nutrients. And then as it further descends down the, the GI tract into the large intestine, that's where a lot of the water is extracted. And then of course we have a BM. Now, that entire process from the saliva generating the enzyme to the peristalsis action down through the esophagus and that actually happens through the stomach, small intestine, and colon. Um, also, that's, those are all directly under the control of the central nervous system. So, in our office, when they come in with these varying conditions, instead of naming you, you have constipation, you have colitis, you have difficulty swallowing, you have acid reflux. All of these things are under the control of the central nervous system, more importantly the brain stem. So the brain stem is housed by the first and second vertebra in the neck and the spinal cord or brain stem runs down through this hole after it exits out of the skull. And many times these chronic nausea, chronic constipation, chronic acid reflux are due to a lack of neurological control. In other words, the brain stem, you have an upper neck injury in the past that locked the vertebra out of position under the skull and is irritating the central nervous system and the impulse, nerve impulse that tells the stomach or colon to contract or the sphincter between the esophagus and the stomach basically acid reflux what is happening is that muscle the tone has been lost and so the acid migrates back up out of the stomach into the esophagus again these are all central nervous system function so many times like I was getting at when the top vertebra has been locked out of position and is impacting the cord it's it's um, interfering with the proper proper neurological tone through the system and so instead of naming someone uh, in our office with these various conditions. Our goal in the office is to find out do you have an upper neck injury that's impacting the control centers that control digestion and if you do let's find out exactly how it's out of position. Now one person may move back into one side or back into the other side or forward to one side or forward to the other. Everybody's different and in our office we take very precise imaging either cone beam computerized tomography, termed CBCT. It's a new 3D imaging technology that allows us to see exactly how the joints fit uh, because by looking at the joints you can tell exactly how the vertebra is off. And then once that information is gleaned, we use it to make a very precise correction of the floor of the skull to clear the neurological interference of the spinal cord so the body can function the way it's supposed to. Now of course this isn't the cure-all for everything, but it's very common in our office to see a whole host of different digestive problems um, do better from making spinal corrections in the upper neck. So in our office, we do offer a free consultation and exam. 
uh, that basically gives you the chance to come into the office. We'll run you through a battery of tests to see if you do have this upper neck problem. And, um, and then you can make a decision what you want to do after the consultation. Now we do have two offices in the Los Angeles area. One's in Koreatown uh, and that office serves the general Los Angeles area, Pasadena, uh, Glendale, Hollywood, uh, and surrounding cities. And then we have another office in the South Bay uh, in Carson and we take care of people from Redondo Beach, Manhattan Beach, El Segundo, Cerritos, Long Beach, Compton, um, Lomita, Torrance, all those surrounding cities. Now if you're outside of the Los Angeles area and you are looking for an upper cervical chiropractor near me, that's you, um, call our office. We'd be happy to find you someone who's qualified in your area to help you out with uh, your central nervous system problems. So hope uh, this made sense and uh, some of you out there who have been searching everywhere for health answers, natural health answers, uh, and haven't come up with a solution yet, hopefully this will speak to you and uh, be your health solution. So thanks for listening. Thank you.